Hey there everyone! Welcome to my TBR video for June. This month I have planned four books, like the previous months. This time I'm able to actually start reading them all immediately at the start of the month. I wasn't able to in the previous months because I like to finish one pile of books completely before moving on to the next. This time I finished all the books the previous month, so I get to start them right away. So I'm not working without a ha with a handicap this time. <laughs> for once. Anyway, so I have planned two manga volumes and two novels. So let's take a look. For manga, we have Black Butler Volume 4. Black Butler is a series in which you follow young aristocrat Seal Phantom Hive, who is 13 years old, takes place in Victorian England, and this is his more than human butler. And this book starts a new arc storyline wise the indian butler arc in which there is an anglo-indian prince and his butler that come to london england um to i forget exactly something to do with murders of indian people in england um and of course any of that stuff normally involves seal and sebastian so that should prove interesting i don't remember much about the arc i'll be honest <laughs> But, you know, I've, I've loved the art and the story of Black Butler so far, and I'm sure this would be no exception to that rule. So I'm going to continue my read of Sailor Moon uh, with Volume 2 of this. Volume 2, um, I, I'm going to make a comment on the cover here, and I'll, and I'll say why. Because if you've only seen the original 90s anime, or you've only seen Sailor Moon Crystal up to the point it's been released, you're probably not familiar with this outfit or type of outfit on anyone other than Sailor Moon because in the original anime Sailor Moon was the only one that got the eternal outfit the one that looks like this by the end she was the only one special enough to have it which I did not agree with I hated that there was a lot of stuff in the 90s anime that was <sighs> well actually I should say a lot of stuff that did not happen in the 90s anime that I wish did which includes this and I love how most of the covers of the newer editions of the manga, published by Kodansha, this one here, has these outfits on the cover because they're personally my favorite. I love how it's just a slight variation and it, it unifies the look for all the Sailor Guardians and in my opinion is the prettiest. It's their most powerful form and uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, this volume introduces uh, Sailor Venus um, and also the deals with um, the Moon Princess and the appearance of the Silver Crystal and stuff around, around that. This, uh, this doesn't end the story arc of the Dark Kingdom though. I believe that's volume 3, uh, but it, it'll be interesting to catch up to where I originally first started with the manga back when I was a kid because Sailor V, the volume in which, or the chapter in which she shows up, was where I began back in the day. So it, it's, it's nice to finally catch up to it here. Okay, so the two novels. So one is not at all going to be a surprise to you guys, most likely. It is the next book in Anne Rice's Vampire Chronicles in terms of story order and publishing order, and that is the Vampire Armand. Uh, so it's another origin story focusing on the title character. I mean, I, I don't remember, I read this book at least once before, once for sure. I really don't know though if, I mean, we got portions of his origin story in Interview with the Vampire and the Vampire Lestat. So I, I'm curious as to exactly how much of that is repeated in here and how much of it's going to be brand new. Um, I don't remember much about this book, so uh, it, it'll be interesting. He's definitely not one of my favorite characters. I'm not a fan of his. He seems to go back and forth between being a grouchy little kid and being some high and mighty adult. Might have something to do with the fact that he was turned kind of young. Uh... Like, he was, what, in his teenage years, I think? But yeah, so this one's the next book in the Vampire Chronicles I'll be reading. Uh, hopefully this is still better than 
Memnock the Devil and the Tale of the Body Thief. It's kind of hard to be worse than those books, I think. That Those were pretty, pretty bad. This fourth and final book I'm going to talk to you about, I'm kind of concerned whether or not I'll finish it, but we'll find out. We'll, we'll see. And look at how thick this book is. Look at this. Like, listen to this when I put my hand on top of it. This is thick. This is a thick boy here. And it is The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. <laughs> It's massive. Like there is how many pages? Six hundred and not counting the extras, six hundred and seventy-six pages in this chonker here. I'm Anne Rice's origin stories for her characters are kind of historical fiction, which is all right because they're normally not that long. But this thing is like almost two hundred fifty thousand words, I think, and um. Outside of vampire books, I don't really have a, a experience with historical fiction. Like, this one is supposed to be uh, around Dracula and vampires as well. I'm both excited to read this book and a little concerned because I, I don't want to be reading the book and only seeing vampires, like, three quarters of the way through. You know what I mean? Like, I bought this because it has to do with Dracula and vampires and stuff, and I'm kind of... I'm kind of hoping there's at least an alludance to them partway through, even if I don't see any of them until closer to the end of the book. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. It, it seems to be, um, from what I've seen, people either seem to really like it or really not like it, and it j seems to stem from the length and how it's written. Um, I'm okay with stuff that has a lot of description, usually, so it, it remains to be seen whether... Kostova's writing style is enough to hook me to carry me through the book or if I have to power my way through it we'll see if anyone has if any one of you watching this video has read this book already I'm I would like to a little bit of non-spoilery insight if just just as a just a confirm or denial of any of my fears <laughs> all right so if by chance I finish all four of those books by the end of the month, I will read at least one more book. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about the book until I get to that point. I don't want to jinx myself. I want to just enjoy this. Have a good time. That's what reading is all about. It's just having fun. So, uh, If you've heard of or read or interested in reading any of these books, let me know down below. Let me know what you think. Um, and with that, I would like to thank you for watching. I post a new video every Tuesday and Friday. Have a good one, guys. Bye!